Hey guys, welcome back. On this video, we're going to be installing the Unity Game Engine. All right, so a few things have been updated, you know, the look of the interface, the website, but I got you guys. All right, so first things first, open up your favorite web browser. You know, it could be Google Chrome, could be Edge. Either one is fine. What you want to do is type in Unity in the search address. Once you do that, it should be the first link. All right, you're going to see Unity Real-Time Development Platform. 3D, 2D, VR. There you go. All right, so once you click on it, you're going to be presented with this page. Now, it's going to have some uh, helpful information on what Unity can do, you know, what it has to offer. Now, what we're looking for is this blue button on the upper right. Like, this uh, website is always changing. It's always evolving. So, uh... If you look for the get started, it should be okay. Click on that. All right, once you do, it's going to show you plans and pricing. Now, this is if you're starting up your own gaming company and, uh, you know, if you were doing that, I would look into any of these options. But I'm your average Joe. I'm an individual. So I'm going to click on that tab. And as you can see, you have two options. You're going to see personal and you're going to see plus. Now, the personal says uh, start creating with free version of Unity. Sounds like me. All right, in the personal, more, uh, you know, resources and uh, projects. It's 35 bucks. It's basically going to give you extra support and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, us, we got YouTube. We don't need all that. You know, it's, the only thing they're going to do is just uh, instead of reading the documentation yourself, they're going to just read it to you. So... Might as well click on free. Let's do it. All right. Once you do that, you're going to be presented with two options. All right. One is going to say first time users. And the other option is going to be returning users. Now, let's say if you use Unity before, it'll just uh, let you download the hub and then you can download whatever version you want to mess around with and you're good to go. But if uh, you're just starting off, you know, click on the first time user. You know, read the agreement. Agree. All right, then it's going to start downloading it for you. Now, in our case, we're going to save it just in case we have any issues with the installation. So click on save. There you go. All right, let's get this bad boy opened up. All right, so we have it downloaded. I'm going to click on run. Give it a guess. Now it's going to say Unity Hub Setup. It's going to have some information just scroll down I agree and now it's gonna install it into the C drive saying destination folder C program files unity hub now don't change this leave it as is another thing you would want to do is uh, open up a folder on your computer and click on this computer if you're using Windows 10 and make sure that you have at least 20 gigs of space in my case, I have 48.1, so I'm good. It's on the C drive. And as you can see, that's where it wants to install it. So don't change this. Leave it as is. And another thing I'll do for you guys is uh, show you my system specs, what version of Windows I'm using, which is uh, version 1903, Windows 10 Pro. This is uh, the OS build. That's my CPU. That's uh, how much RAM I have, 32 gigs. So I'm... PC is more than capable. All right, so now that we got that out of the way, click on install. Now I finished installing. Now it says uh, run Unity Hub. Click on finish. Now Windows Defender might pop up saying firewall is blocking something. Just allow it. You don't get that it's cool all right so now we have the unity hub installer all right so now it says install unity 2018.4 which is a good version to start off with i'll let you guys know about that a little bit later all right so downloading and installing version uh requires uh six gigs of space currently this 51.5 that's cool so leave everything as is click install now it's going to say, uh, 
Do I want to make any changes? Yes, that's fine. All right, now let's say if you haven't created a Unity account. What you want to do is uh, put in some information, make a username, make an email, make a password, agree to the terms, and then uh, create the Unity ID. Now, in my case, I already have one. So I'm going to click on already have one. Type in my info. So looks like we're going to have to switch over to another one. got that all right now it's gonna say uh, select micro game enter the name and select a micro game for your first project all right now it's basically asking you to name your project so we can call this whatever you want you can leave it as my first game that's cool now it's asking you to choose uh, what type of game would it be like um, these are basically gonna give you some templates uh, for a FPS, that means like a shooter. Uh, get to know Unity Editor by playing and modifying this first-person shooter micro game. Then there's also uh, karting. So if you're going to basically make a game similar to Mario Kart. Platformer. Hit the ground running in this 2D side-scrolling platform micro game. So that's basically for like a 2D game. And like, let's say if you want to start off with an empty project, start off sc from scratch, then you would click on empty 3D. So uh, what we're going to do is uh, click on empty 3D for now. We're going to launch Unity. install just give it a few minutes this is the perfect version to start off with I know right now it's up to maybe unity 2019 unity 2020 but as of this moment it's downloading 2018.4 now the reason it's doing that is because that's the most stable version of unity game engine for you to develop your game with so that's that's the version that's going to have the best support as of this moment. Until there's another supported version that doesn't have any errors, any glitches when adding packages, then that's a different story. All right, so uh, we're good to go. So there you have it. Now, let's say if you want to make your own project from scratch and you want to start all over. In the next video, I'll explain that, and we're going to go over all the packages that you would want to install to start off with your first game. We're going to start off installing um, standard assets, Pro Builder, um, Polybrush, Pro Grids, and also Substance Add-on. That way we can add in some cool textures. and It's basically have our game error-free. That way we won't have any headaches, and we could just start developing, putting our vision to the screen all right guys so uh, if you like the video hit that like button and i'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching